Hello tribe, whoever is new to my channel, welcome and uh, consider subscribing if you would like to. So first off, what I want to say guys, um, whoever wants to, what I'm doing now on my community section, I am trying to teach you how to tune in and read from your intuition. If you are reading tarot, if you are not, if you like to practice and develop your intuition, go ahead and check out my community section where what we're doing basically is I have asked you guys to comment your names on one of the posts uh, saying if you would like to be read what you have to do is write down your name and if you will check out my community section I do post uh, two cards from my intuitive deck actually from two of them I'm gonna show you now so one of them is my aqua one okay and the other one is the one you see in front of you so basically what it allows you to do is to detach from any Im imagery that is already familiar for you and for you to just read from what you're feeling what you're seeing in abstract which makes you literally tune into your intuition and um, people do then comment uh, when they see those two cards posted for someone a person that has commented that they're okay to join this um, let's say lesson right and everyone then comments down below what they see in the card what they feel regarding this person what they might be going through what they might be in the future going through and this person who is being read for they reply to each comment saying what it means and if they are right if they are wrong etc etc so it's a whole learning experience okay so check it out if you'd like to and what we're doing today as usual we're doing pick a card pick your future whenever you are coming across this video guys seven days from now is a time frame we're looking at and i'm gonna zoom into those cards for you to check them out from close up so pile number one is here pile number two pile number three i'm also going to include a picture if you have checked out the thumbnail already and you felt like you're drawn to the card from thumbnail i'm gonna just include it here guys so you can decide if you want to choose from here from thumbnail or maybe you want to check out both piles you are drawn to so here it is Hello tribe, whoever has picked pile number one and this card over here. So let's check it out. What's gonna happen more or less seven days from now during those seven days, etc, etc. Sometimes what I want to say, it can stretch up to 10, okay? So pile number one, you're dealing with relationships in the family mostly. It can be also romantic but what i'm seeing seven days from now you will be very impatient okay and i want to talk about this a little bit if some of you are in a situation where you feel like you are not in the right place and i really feel like i'm gonna draw on one card for you extra here because i feel like there isn't a deeper scenario to it but a main storyline here what i'm seeing you will be impatient because you feel like maybe now already that you want to leave the situation and why you're feeling that way is because your higher self is telling you hey mate i think it's time to leave would it be your job would it be the relationship of some sort i'm not necessarily talking romantic something is triggering you and it has been for a long has been for a long time and you might be feeling it especially seven days from now where you'll be like you know what i feel like it's my time to go okay i feel like i've had enough i need to go on this adventure on my own and adventure it can be literally living the situation living a situation of um lacking 
there's something lacking in your life right now we have a barrel here okay and this set says you feel something is lacking in your life perhaps love money or goals so in your situation you know what it is and the first phrase that stood out for you the most is the one that I'm talking about okay there are too many of you I'm not gonna put you in the box but I do feel like you might get uh, frustrated in those seven days from now where you might do something or you might literally for some of you you might give your resignation letter or you might walk away from a certain person saying you know what you're not bringing me the sunshine and happiness anymore and um, another scenario what I'm seeing here is if you are struggling with anyone in your home environment even if you're not what I want to say here your home environment is gonna be on point, okay? You do have six of wands here, a winner type, you're gonna be um, appreciated. In your family circle, if you're waiting for some kind of information from someone or you have recently accomplished someone something when it comes to any task or project or maybe test, whatever it is in your life, you will be appreciated. This is a winner card, everyone is looking at you from the balcony saying, well done mate okay so that's what kind of energy i have here and it's very closely related to your home environment okay so even if this is not a person from your actual home home meaning a place you know like inside of your house you know whoever it is that lives with you still uh, it can be a person who doesn't live too far away from you okay and we do have two cards here talking about relationships one is tree and it says to me family tree okay affairs with your family and that sits right right next to six of wands saying someone in the family is going to be really proud of you then another card we have fair woman so that might be a person you will be dealing with because it's literally talking about queen of cups here someone who's very loving might be a water sign for some of you someone who doesn't hide their feelings okay and it's funny how this card is literally, uh, I don't know, I just saw that circle over there, that window, and this card literally sits, it's like a zoom in of that person we're talking about, right? It says, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. So that's gonna be the woman who will be, in some cases, helping you out if you have any issues. And certainly, I don't know why I'm, I'm feeling like it's gonna be something that you're struggling is in studies or work your career you're gonna have that woman who's gonna be uh, some kind of a helper so even if you have any other issues like maybe depression or anxiety or you have to talk about something i have i have emotions here okay even if you have split up with someone or about to do so or you're not happy in relationship that you're in right now or connection this woman will be the one who you will have to turn to or she'll come towards you saying you know what do you want to just go on and grab a couple of drinks or grab tea or whatever it is you know and in some cases i do see that this person you might haven't seen for some time and i do see two people coming together okay so if we're talking about a friend this is someone you're gonna be meeting during those seven days and you will have a good time but what i'm seeing here regarding this connection you will have a good time you will pour your hearts out to one another but you might be surprised that this person um if you feel like this person seems happy and has more quality life than you do you might be surprised that when she opens her heart up um, she might tell you that you know what not everything is as it might seem to you because one of those cups are spilled over there okay and the other one she's sharing you with and you're gonna bond over difficulties with this woman so it's a really good cleansing kind of um, time that I'm seeing here uh, one of you is literally you have a connection with one person it might not be a woman it might be feminine energy okay don't take sexes as an absolute but what I'm seeing here there is going to be a person that's going to be very important during those seven days and that person might be struggling with their life as much as you are but 
maybe they are not talking about it as much or you didn't realize and uh, you're gonna literally meet one another and say we are both kind of on hold in one aspect in our lives and you're just gonna have a laugh about it because <laughs> I do feel like both of you might be single or one of you are and you are kind of counseling one another okay I do want to take a look as I said before I want to draw one card for you from the light your work is that yeah work your light light your work Jesus Maybe you do need to light your work a bit. Whatever you're doing, maybe you feel like it's darkness. Maybe you're not happy in your career. So we're going to pull one of these cards and see how you might be feeling on a kind of soul level those seven days from now. So we have trust the niggle. Okay. And it says, what is the niggling feeling? feeling trying to tell you and I do see a group of even though it's the same lady over here I do see I said before a support of some sorts okay for some of you you whoever is dealing uh, has any dealings with psychic work or mediumship whatever it is you might be feeling that you have your abilities are developing faster during those seven days you might be feeling that everything is happening in a more intense way where you predicting predicting things happening without any effort and for others of you this niggling feeling is trying to tell you that maybe it's time for you to leave a certain situation and that's why we have this barrel here saying um, you feel something is lacking and that's that niggling feeling for you. Does it make sense? So listen to that niggling feeling guys because Whenever you will decide to make this change for yourself where you say you know what? I'm not going for this or I'm not gonna stay in this position anymore relationship career, whatever it is Because I want to seek my own happiness. So I feel like some of you might um, start changing your life around a little bit step by step seven days from now and I do see a family get together for you guys I don't know why but it's gonna be great I feel like you don't expect it to be that good but whoever knows that they have anything planned to do with family um, expect it to be good whoever doesn't expect something to happen that family member will be there for you or they will be proud about whatever you have done and you might not expect that coming for you. Now, some of you, I do see that someone might be unsure how to change something around in their home environment. And I'm talking <laughs> about it because I have my intuitive deck telling me about it. It's like, I don't know, should I place this here or there? Should I buy these curtains or the other ones? It's something about furniture, maybe something about the way you want to decorate your house or change things around that you might not be sure about. But ask for an opinion. Ask for opinion of a person you think of you are thinking of right now as I speak. You know, I would probably ask that person. So that person who popped in your mind now is a person to ask when it comes to not being sure those seven days from now. And uh, you will guys come up with brilliant ideas. Whenever the decision has to be made seven days from now, ask the person who is in, in your mind right now because you will come up with really good stuff, okay? It's gonna come out better than you think. So I hope this has helped out in one way or another. If you are new to my channel, consider subscribing and joining my tribe. I'm trying to do live uh, readings for you guys every weekend. If I do have time for it, well, I'm trying for the past three weeks, I think. <laughs> and um, if you have your bell on um, for, I think you have like three options for a bell on, don't you? Let me just check, I have my laptop next to me. Okay, so once, has, once you click the bell on, it says personalized, so it would only give you notifications about some of the readings that I post or any videos that I post. If you click all, it will give you a notification whenever I post anything. So that's what happens in my live readings. I just literally start doing live and whoever is there, we just chat and do free readings and enjoy our time together. So I hope you can join me guys. Bye for now, best of luck, and I'll see you soon.
Hello people who have chosen pile number two. So that's your card you've chosen. And let's start, let's get into this. So whoever has picked this pile, guys, <laughs> you remind me of someone that I know of. And if this person saw this video, she would literally start laughing. But <laughs> you do, it feels like seven days from now, you might not be able to control your anger, okay? And we kind of, I had this for this card when I pulled it. I was like, okay, okay, you're gonna try to repress it. You know, all of that, you know, physical frustration even coming out of you or whatever is happening around you here, you might try and repress it. And then I put lightning and it says, control your anger or you will be sorry. <laughs> and then I've pulled the uh, work your life oracle deck and it says, who or what is triggering you. So let's talk about this. Now, for most of you, what I'm seeing, there is a situation. Um, <laughs> situationship, shall we say. <laughs> Would it be romantic? Would it be not romantic? Um, I do see a connection clashing over here and you go like, you know what, F you. But you know that whoever is watching that before retrograde, that's what's going to be happening where you're going to be clearing out people from your life and being more uh, selfish in a good way where you will start seeing people uh, triggering you a little bit more. And those people who are uh, might be the people who don't have to be around you as much anymore, which is a really good thing. That's why we have the sorrow over a loss, which is not really of a sorrow because if you do, if they do make you feel like this, it means they don't belong in your life anymore. And it's funny how this nine is reversed and that nine is upright. And in the middle, we have lovers reversed. So that's why I said situationship because some of you, and especially how to how to know what pers what kind of person I'm talking about, would it be romantic or not, as I said. Um, this person, what you pay attention to when you look at their profile or when you look at them uh, from up front, you do pay attention to their nose and question yourself. What, what kind of person I find uh, attractive because of their nose or what... Um, let's say if their nose is a bit on a bigger side, you would pay attention to it from profile. Something about the nose here that I'm seeing. And uh, there is a situation where you will be saying, I can't believe I haven't seen it all along. It's something about that where your intuition is going to be on point. So listen to your intuition, guys, okay? Oh, I just got an intense feeling. Someone might be jealous of you guys, whatever you are doing, some of you have some kind of secret powers, whatever it is, you might not even be aware of it, that people see you that way. You are really good in something and people kind of, especially this one person that I talked about, might find uh, themselves kind of, oh, you know what, this person. It's um, There's a lot of jealousy coming through here. I don't know why I'm sensing this, but guys, you are in your own element seven days from now. And that is why maybe that jealousy is coming through because whatever you'll be doing, you'll be super sexy, super magnetic. And it's something about this um, feminine side of you, even though if you are a guy watching, you will have that masculine on point. You will look really attractive to people, but not only by the way you look, by your accomplishments, by your character, okay? If you're gonna be choosing between people too, you will not be like, Oh, you know what? I could just go with that person and maybe I should go with them because they showed me attention or because they offered me to go somewhere. You'll be like, nah, I'm going to choose wisely. I'm going to choose because I know my own values. And it's something about you and having bitch face on and knowing your value. This is coming through quite a lot here. Okay, guys, this is really like, I don't care what you're thinking about me. I'm doing my own thing. And I'm super excited about this. And um, do not bring caca energy in my life. <laughs> okay, that's what's going on. And uh, now let me see what other scenarios we have here. 
I don't know what's up about this, but I do see a fountain and a corset. So maybe some of you might be dancers, you like exotic dancing, or you might go to a place like this. Um, some of you maybe, it's something about the hat as you see over here, you might be dressing up. Uh, well, obviously, if you're watching it a couple of days from when I've posted it, like literally it's Halloween, right? So I do see dressing up but don't worry whenever you come across this video there's something about the way you dress up it's gonna be on point and you might have one or two people jealous about this whole situation so i congratulate you because jealousy is always good it mean, means you're doing something right <laughs> okay and they are literally like mirroring their own insecurities and as i said that i looked on at the side and we have a mirror okay so it feels like you are really like whoever is watching pile number two you have something really attractive about you that not everyone can handle and when it comes to appreciating you as a person some people might not overcome their their hmm, their own selves because that jealousy is there you know and um some of you might be literally having beautiful hair beautiful figure beautiful um wardrobe it's something about that and you might be triggering others so whenever you'll feel like that seven days from now that you sense it in other people know that they are jealous because of you looking good or doing something great okay or it might have piled up over time where this person was observing you in one way or another and they were like you know what mm, just kind of like living by living in the way where they observe what you're doing and looking at your accomplishments small or big and it kind of makes them angry but angry on themselves mostly okay so that's something that i would like to have because this is really good even though it doesn't sound like but just have that kind of perception if you'll feel like that's happening to you okay you might be feeling whoever is going to the gym now or doing any kind of exercise that you might have to put this on hold okay because some unexpected things might come up where you might have a task an expected task of some sort that you have to do where you have to be patient and it might take some time out of your schedule where you might have to put this on hold a bit okay and maybe that is why for some of you might be feeling frustrated because you are not um Hmm, what's the word I'm looking for? Someone help me out. You are not doing any physical exercises. Therefore, everything that you release during that, it might start piling up in your head. So be careful about your words because you might sting like a Scorpio. And I don't know why I said that. Maybe some of you are watching <laughs> this reading for Scorpios, okay? And now we do have a box, you will receive a gift and that might be another thing that this person might be jealous of. Maybe a couple, I do see one and then two people on the side, okay, for some of you. Um, so it might be to do with that accomplishment that I talked about or for some of you literally, I do see, it's a funny, it's a funny situation. A uh, very specific scenario, did anyone order something from any kind of online shop? I do see that coming towards you but it might be better than you have expected it it's something different about it that you know you've ordered one thing and then you get it and you're like oh my god so it's something about this situation here now i'm gonna clarify the 10 here and we're gonna see what's that temporal situation that we are talking about something will happen that this card is saying is just a temporal situation so let's see let's see what's up with that one We have the strength. And I already see the situation here too, actually. For some of you, be careful not to um, overwork yourself in a gym, okay? It's something about that energy with physical activity, not even in a gym, if, it's not, if you don't go to the gym, um, at work, anywhere, do not um, try to take care of your back and try to take care of the way you handle things okay because you might hurt yourself I'm not being like I'm not trying to scare you but it's just you know take care of the way you handle things basically do not try to lift too much just because you can watch over your health okay in one way now 
that is why it's a temporal situation, some kind of injury, whatever. Um, it might be even a small one for some of you, okay? Kind of respect your body, guys, here. Do not stretch. Do not stretch too much. Too much. Now, with the Queen of Cups, interesting. Now, this is talking to me with that. Um, it goes very well with that lightning where you might get very emotional, very sudden. And this thing is a temporary, temporary situation where um, try not to act when you're angry. Just let it, let that steam kind of, you know, disappear before you say something. Because it seems like you might get pissed off <laughs> with someone uh, seven days from now and you might act out of anger. And uh, this is saying that it might not be the best for you, okay? You do want to bring some karma to someone, but it's not worth it, okay? It's not worth it. People will get their own karma. Uh, watch over your own self because you're going to be doing very well and you shouldn't be worried about what other people do, what kind of silly things they do. Um, try not to get triggered by anyone and do your own thing. You guys are successful in something here, okay? People are going to be jealous. I do see that happening. I do see some kind of abundance coming towards you. We have pentacles here, might be money. Um, it's you kind of a winner of the situation, guys. But um, I really sense those energies that kind of those jealous people, you know, around you. Try not to get affected by them because you're already doing well and you shouldn't even care. Keep that bitch face on and, you know, do your own business. <laughs> Pile number two, that's what I have for you. Join my tribe if you'd like to and I'll see you all soon. Bye for now. Hello tribe, whoever has picked pile number three, that's your card and let's get into business here. So, more or less seven days from now what I'm seeing some of you, whoever has or are about to plan a trip, don't be surprised if that trip is not gonna happen because of something. Because it seems like you came up with some kind of idea, maybe it happened already in the recent past, that didn't really happen. And you might be a little bit disappointed, but I do see that this happened for you or will happen for a reason because there might be a situation where you might have to save some money um, literally not even for some of you not even a trip or like a little advent adventure of some sorts so it can be just going literally to a really nice pub you know just that's a distance too right from your home to a place but if it's not gonna happen it's saying it's for a reason because you might need those money that you're going to spend, about to be spending for something else. And therefore you're gonna be like, oh, thank God, really, you know, it's good that this happened. And um, so whatever situation is not gonna um, happen how you have planned it, just trust it because it's something that had to happen that way, okay? Now, super weird scenario, um, I'm just gonna speak my mind as usual guys you know me I do see a situation where someone is googling <laughs> is looking into sexuality sex positions porn um, how to be sexy um, looking for clothes of some sorts it's something about that situation where it it's closely related to research looking back or looking forward to something um it's very strange i do see a situation where someone has um had sexual relationship with someone lately that didn't turn out to be the best and you will be feeling like thank god at least i didn't get pregnant or thank god i didn't get pregnant even though this happened in a way where I didn't really enjoy it. It's something about this energy here where someone didn't really enjoy something about sex with someone or you might be looking back at your previous partners you had sex with and you're kind of like looking back to your life in a way but it's closely to do with your uh, sexual um with your sex life okay and you're looking back at it in a really healthy way kind of trying to analyze why some things were happening the way they were um 
I do see for some of you, you will be having sex with someone seven days from now where so now this is kind of like a heads up for you guys okay if you were will be about to have sex with someone that you might be kind of uh, doubting about um listen to your, your intuition because it might be not the best you've ever had and you might feel like you have wasted your time it's something about this energy here that i'm seeing sex and disappointment or um for some of you looking back at your sex life where you're analyzing what it is that you liked what it is that you didn't like sorry this pile is very sexual i'm just gonna go with it um what it is that you didn't like and maybe uh, questioning yourself how would you like it to be the next time okay it's a kind of healthy research for some of you in a way but for those that i, I was speaking about talking about this future prediction in a way just pay attention to your gut feeling because you might be feeling like i don't know i'm not sure but i'm just gonna go with it you might get disappointed in a way okay um it feels like you know we have five of swords here like oh i felt like i thought of it but i did it anyway and therefore it, it ended like this you know so that's that Guys, I'm sorry I'm talking about sex in pile number three that much, but it's literally like there are so many scenarios here. I'm just going to go with it. Uh, by the way, you might have been drawn to pile number one, some of you. Uh, there might be a message for you there too. That's something that I've heard. So maybe go ahead and watch that and please comment down below if that's the case. Okay. Um, I do see, you see we have seven of wands here. Um, someone letting their putting their guards down in a way okay and then again this is as i said before it's something about this connection being disappointing only because you have let your guard down so you didn't stand your ground and your values it's something about that where you repress yourself and therefore you are like you know what i kind of i kind of don't like this whole situation i should have done better or i should have said said something in the future okay and I do also see a situation where a couple of people are arguing about a baby or about a child. So it might be your ex-partner if you have a baby daddy or baby mama. It's something about this situation. But it's saying, do not try to prove anything to anyone because uh, it's just going to be like a useless kind of discussion where no one is going to literally um, try to come to compromise, okay? What I do see here, you do have an admirer that you're probably not aware of. We do have a bouquet and it says, oh my God, I can't, um, compliments from an admirer. And I do feel like for some of you, it might be person at work. Let's be nosy and I'm going to shuffle the texture tarot and let's look at the personality of this person. Who are we talking about here? Who is this admirer? It's not that person I've talked about previously regarding, you know, a disappointment of some sort. This is a completely different energy that I'm feeling, okay? We have the lovers, obviously. Thank you very much. <laughs> then let's look at that, okay? We have the queen of pens and it came out reversed. So someone who might have come out of a serious relationship in the recent past or someone who is about to and you you are aware of it okay and the full reverse yeah look at this someone is a little bit terrified to come towards you to give you a compliment and tell you that they would want to make a move but they are too afraid because they have the full reversed okay they are about to do it so that's exciting guys for you pile number three there's a lot of like sense of um i do feel like some of you literally just recently broke off relationship with some with someone maybe it's not necessarily romantic but is that energy like where you keep thinking about something that has happened in the past for a reason okay it was a clearance for you literally clearance so take it in a good way okay just don't get stuck in that uh, energy where you're like damn it you know um, it's all good you have new people coming into your life people who uh, appreciate you more than someone has had in the past okay 
you will have plenty of material things the bowl is saying over here we be aware of great pride and i do feel like this is to do with this other person for some of you it might be you okay don't try to be too cocky because karma might bite you in the ass but i do feel like it's for that other person that we have talked about okay um it's funny how we have financial pinch and we have the bowl, which has plenty of material things. So this is saying um, you will have enough, more than enough, okay, plenty, but make sure that you respect that plenty that you have, otherwise you might end up in financial pinch. So example where someone gets an unexpected like, $300 or something from somewhere, let's say a lottery, right? And then you straight away go ahead and buy something for yourself. Uh, you have to respect those money in a way where you think of, uh, maybe I'm going to put it to savings, okay? Maybe I'm going to um, spend this money, uh, maybe investing in something in a way where you actually respect that money a bit more rather than just spending it here and now, okay? So that's something you have to think about for pile number three. Don't get too excited about spending, that's what I'm hearing here, because it might be a situation where you might need that money or just a bit of that money that you have already spent, okay? Let's see what else here. Six of Wands reversed. Let me clarify that. What's that about? Okay, again, for me, this is talking about the great pride for you guys, okay? Because Six of Wands is a winner type of card saying someone who's very proud, okay, at what they have achieved. So make sure that you get rid of that pride and ego seven days from now and make sure you're not around those kind of people. Um, because they might drain you a bit. And also for you guys, it might be a little bit risky. My five of wands is, you know, a bit different from the rest of the decks. It's talking about, you know, that kind of fiery risk, but also five of wands is all about arguments. So don't get involved in that, you know, kaka energy, as I say. Make sure you are true to yourself and true to people around you. If you see that there is someone talking uh, nonsense or talking something that is very childish or something that is not true to your beliefs, um, try to leave the situation because it might be a little bit like this five of swords to you, okay? Where someone has won an argument, but just because those people kind of decided not to talk anymore. So it's that kind of energy here, okay? Uh, remember, whoever's watching, like, let's say not to, okay. I can't find words today apparently because it's been a hard day planning things <laughs> at work. But what I'm trying to say, uh, retrograde is coming up. Doesn't matter whenever you're watching this video, just saying. And I do see um, kind of a pattern in those, in these piles, guys, where people are arguing and people are trying to kind of prove themselves, prove themselves in one way or another. Don't do that, skip that, uh, because I feel like the moment you do, you're gonna have a lot of good things coming to you, okay? And um, we had from Work Your Light Tarot, uh, sorry, Oracle Deck, Trust the Niggle. So you might be feeling like some people might be feeling shady. And trust your niggle because that's gonna be the truth. Take care of your own energy, as I said before. Walk away, don't get into battles with people because there's another thing you have to be concentrated on um, seven days from now. We're talking about your career and money here with this um, card and then we're talking about plenty of material things, okay? So some of you will be planning out your expenses. Some of you might start putting some money on a side to your saving accounts and um, there is another thing that you'll have to concentrate on rather than just you know like those uh, silly arguments okay so pile number three if you would like to join my tribe whoever is not my tribe you adopt as always and um, subscribe if you'd like to like or dislike this video and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now